Howdy folks, my name is Richie aka Bog Otter and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 Gem Store preview. They just added some new items and returned some old items to the Gem Store. I want to go over them with you. Uh, one of them is this cer ceremonial plated outfit, which I think I'm going to actually purchase. So I'll show you what that looks like on my character once we do that. They also have this Belinda's Greatsword skin, which is a Katana Greatsword. And that looks pretty cool. And then they brought back a lot of the uh, NPC uh, skins like Brams and Roxes, Casmir's and Marjorie's weapons. Um, and you can see them here. Also has Bram's shield. Let's take a look quickly in my wardrobe. We can check out Belinda's greatsword in more detail. Uh, we need weapon skins and two handed. And we'll search for Belinda. And that should bring it up. Here it is Belinda's greatsword. So we can preview this. And you can see while it's in the sheath, it kind of looks like a typical katana wood with this r ribbon work and then when we wield it this is what it looks like nothing too flashy or fancy but it's it's definitely got a unique look to it which is cool and if you want that canton style as you walk around uh this is a cool weapon so you can get that one a lot of these weapons they're all all these weapons are priced the same they are 700 is it 700 or 600 gems for the weapons little bit pricey but when you compare it to the cost of getting black lion tickets for some of the other weapon sets that's probably a pretty good deal uh, now let's talk about the uh, the new outfit now this is not a, a complete armor set this is actually an outfit so it works you know like the uh, like the witches outfit and other things like that you have to keep it you, you can't wear it piecemeal but you can wear it on any type of uh, character, any race, uh, any profession. It's not a heavy, medium, or light armor set. I'm just going to grab this here. It's been a while since I spent some of my gems. And uh, why not, right? We'll show it off. Let's take this thing. And oh my gosh, look at my, my inventory's a mess. Don't look in there. Don't look in there. I'm going to use it. And now I've unlocked it. Okay, so let's check it out on my Norn. We'll go into my wardrobe and we'll throw this puppy on. All right, that looks pretty awesome. It is a high degree of detail on this thing. All right, first of all, let's take off the wings because that's kind of distracting with this outfit. Look at the level of detail in this thing. Pretty awesome. And then we'll, we'll play around with some of the, the color combos that you can get. All right, let's go dye this puppy. So there should be four dye channels, just like most outfits. Yep, right now they're all pretty tan colored. Let's just play around with like, all right, let's see if we do some abyss here. What can we do? Okay, so you get the the different channels. So you could, just, I'll, I'll show them off here. Let's do um, the celestial and just show you where the different dye channels are in this armor. That's very bright. Okay, so I like the um, antique bronze would probably look really cool with this. Oh, it does. Absolutely. I think it would work really well with anything that ha that shows off the metallic colors really well. Starry Night. So you can play around with these uh, different color combos and see what you like. I like how the black looks there. I actually like quite a bit how the red looks on the uh the actual cloth the cloth parts so i'd probably keep something like that something like that i don't know that looks cool so you can feel free to play around with that very cool set actually it works really well with my uh my my duena bow there i like that a lot let's look at it on uh, a couple other characters okay let's see what it looks like on a female human character We'll go to the wardrobe, and we shall select the ceremonial outfit. Apply. And let's turn the helmet on. Okay, there you go. Looks pretty neat. You can have a really unique look with, like, like I'm an elementalist here. Elementalist with, like, heavy armor with lots of filigree and different designs 
pretty cool looking. I like this outfit quite a bit. So here we are looking at the Asura character here, male Asura. And I played around with the dyes a little bit, made it a little bit more golden. It's kind of funny that uh, this they gave you this outfit after the World Summit in the last uh, Living Story patch. Because this would be the perfect ceremonial armor to wear to such an event with all the world leaders converging at the Pale Tree. But uh, last, uh, I had to wear some dingy adventurer's clothes. But now, I am ready for the next World Summit, which hopefully will be soon. Okay, this is a female Sovari character that has the armor on. It's very similar to what a female human would look like, but I wanted to at least get one uh, gender of each race represented here. Um, again, it probably doesn't look like what a Sovari would typically wear, but overall, it looks pretty awesome. Alright, last up, this is a female Char character. You can see what it looks like here. The outfit... I mean, it still looks pretty cool. It, it looks a little bit awkward seeing a uh, a char dressed up like this. You know, they're they're used to being more spiky and rugged and and not necessarily fancy folk. But uh, yeah, it still does look pretty cool. I, I love the detail in the shoulder blades and just all over the armor. They did they did a really good job with this armor, and I am proud to be a purchaser. So that's gonna wrap things up. I hope you find this preview helpful. If you did, uh, hit that like button before you go and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified when I release future videos. And I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.